What up, boys and girls? We are the actual S1 from My Balakaran City. Before we join this competition, we have got achievement as the second place in the most robotic competition to the Tani Arwater category. Okay, in this opportunity, we would like to explain to you about our underwater robot challenge and its ROV. Let's continue to the next content, which is the abstract. In the abstract, we will explain the concise summary of the entire project, the problems we investigated, the methods that can be solved, and the conclusion. First is the concise summary. ROV stands for Remotely Operated Vehicle. It is an underwater robot operated remotely using a remote control. The robot has a function to retrieve object from point A to point B. In this case, our ROV is aimed to join into WI Ashley Online Underwater Robot Challenge 2021. Next is problem with investigation is how can the robot move the target object as many as possible under the predetermined rules? And next is method and key result. To make robot move object as many as possible in the quickest time, we have to operate it using remote control as a transmitter. And let's send comment to the receiver. And the receiver forward comment to the microcontroller, which is Arduino Nano. And then Arduino Nano forward comment to the motor driver to move DC motor. As, as a result, a robot can move according to command. Uh, Thus, movement is forward, backward, left, right, up, and down. It can also activate the mini pump to take the object. And last but not least is the conclusion. Our office is a robot that can be operated underwater and controlled by a remote control. The purpose of this robot is to move object from point A to point B. Next contains analysis. In analysis, we will explain about mission challenge, mini tax, and overall mission. First is mission challenge. That is, picking up as many objects as possible from the middle section of the tank and dropping them in a basket at the other end of the tank. The next is mini test. In the mini test, define four steps. First, the robot move from point B to point A. And second, robot check the object or marble. And third, the robot move from point A to point B. And the last step is robot drop the marble at point B. If the minute is complete, the overall mission will be solved very well. The next content is strategy. We will explain our strategy in this competition. First, knowing the components of the robot. By knowing the components of robot, we can learn how to implement the robot in the best way. And the next step of the strategy, which is the speed. By controlling the speed of the robot while operating, the robot can complete the task as quickly as possible. Next strategy we use is movement. By controlling the movement of the robot efficiently, then the robot will be more controlled. And the last step is stability. By maintaining the balance of the robot, then it will have a good stability during operation. Next, I will explain innovative ideas from our team. First is implementation of underwater robot for the purpose of fishing or other resource gathering. Second is assisting underwater search and rescue or SAR operation. Third, by adding underwater camera to the robot, it can be used for underwater photography or videography. And next is additional tool for the Navy to maintain the maritime territorial by using the underwater robot as patrol. Next, I will explain what tools and resources we use on the robot in this competition and the advantage of using these tools and resources. First, it is Remote EX or Remote Control. It is the signal transmitter to the receiver unit of the robot in the form of radio wave. And next, it is waterproof container. It is the container where other part of the robot is placed or attached to. Next, it is driver motor. 
It is an electronic circuit that regulates the current supply to the DC motor. And next, it is regulators. It is a device that regulates the electric current that flows in. Next, it is remote RX or receiver. It is the unit that receives the signal from the transmitter. And next, it is diode. It is an electronic part made of semiconductor that allows electric current in one direction while isolating the electric current from the opposite direction. And next, it is microcontroller or chip. It is the main core or brain that manages every activity of the robot. The advantage of this tool, it is compared to other models, Arduino Nano has the advantage due to its small size with enough memory it's required. And next is Motor DC Brushless. It is the component that moves the robot. DC Motor Brushless has better speed and torque, highly efficient, longer operating time, low sound, and a wide range of speed. Next it is Battery LiPo. It is the main power supply of the robot. We choose LiPo battery because it is rechargeable compared to others. This battery is also lighter, more durable, and has suitable form for our requirement. And next, it is mini pump submersible. It is a special motor used for suction underwater. We are using this mini pump has the advantage of its simplicity to be used in many kinds of condition. It is not affected by the height of water level and doesn't require suction pipe. In our gym, there is several parts for determination. First is remote control. Remote control is used to transmit the command to receiver unit in the robot. Next is the receiver for the signal from transmitter into the capacitor, which is Arduino. Next, the Arduino then send the command to the motor driver. And the last one is motor driver then triggers the DC motor into action. Next top 10 is debugging. In this competition, we have some problems. There is loosening rotor blade from the rotor. Because the blades are not strong enough to withstand the water pressure. To fix this problem, we are using stronger action of glue from the rotor blades. Second, lost connection of the robot with the remote control. Because the distance between robot and remote control. To fix this problem, we are closing the distance while remote controlling. And third, scraping sound of the motor because the lack of lubricant causing the water pressure. To fix this problem, we are using lubricant to the motor. And the last problem is unstable movement of the robot because the position of the battery and the loss are not well distributed, causing instability. To fix this problem, we are repositioning the battery to improve stability.
Conclusion, after fixing the problems and we operate the robot, we can guarantee that the robot can move according to the command that we set via the remote control. The robot can complete the challenge mission well. And the last one for closing is learning experience. During the time of racing the robot, we have learned many things, such as component characteristic, how to control it, how to maintain and fix some problem on it. By participating in online underwater robot challenge, we also learn how to work as a team in achieving a single goal. That's all from our team. Thank you very much for watching this video. Sorry if there are any mistakes. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.